As per usual with uh, Wednesday news days in crude oil, today didn't disappoint. It was a crazy one. Not much actually ended up happening, or at least yet. Uh, the time now is uh, 2.30. Uh, PM Eastern, uh, so we still have another hour and a half in trading. Although I think I've made the right play by selling my short. Um, I got out at 44.77. Uh, not the uh, all-time highs of the day, which were uh, 44.84, uh, at least for now. Um, I would try to wait as long as I could. Uh, I managed to wait until a quarter after two uh, to see if we could make that push for 45, which some people expected that we could. So I had an order standing to sell um, just below 45 at about 44.95. Um, but uh, after a third attempt to really get over that 44.84 um, and seeing it fail yet again, I just played it safe and, and took a small profit, 1.5%, by selling at 44.77. Uh, for a long that was purchased at 44.34, so really, you know, not much of a pro uh, profit there. Um, not, I'm not complaining, uh, but it has less to do with taking the profit and more to do with kind of um, reducing exposure ahead of the drop that I think is warranted. Um, the EIA news that came out this morning at 10:30 a.m. Eastern actually showed a reasonably large inventory build. Um, versus the uh, draw that was expected. So, um, you know, if you had a look at the discussion forums at all um, as that was happening, you know, everybody expected an immediate reversal of this spike that we saw. Um, we initially uh, went up and then came straight back down and then went straight back up again and then just kind of stayed at these um, near these highs. Uh, we retreated. Um, near uh, coming into European close at 11.30 and ever since then we basically have been climbing up and kind of struggling with this 44.80-ish um, uh, ceiling here. Uh, you know there's a chance that we make it to 45 tomorrow, um, there's a chance that we make it over 45 and, you know and then up from there. If that's the case then I'll be looking to add to my short positions above 45 but I'm not going to be adding any shorts below 45. Um, so for the next few days, even though I am a long-term bull when it comes to crude, for the next few days I am bearish. I, I think that we're going to retreat. Um, I don't know to what level we're going to retreat. I don't know whether it's 43 or the 42 that I've been calling out um, for uh, a week now. But I do think that we're going to pull back. So getting out of this uh, long position from 44.34 at 44.77, it at least gives me an opportunity to reposition that long in a better spot if we do fall as I expect that we will. Um, so we'll see. Uh, you know, another hour and a half in trading today. Um, I think there's still a lot of bulls who are hoping for to see the 45 today, and we might. Um, but even if we do, you know, I'm not going to be sore over that missed out profit. Um, if we do see 45 today, then I'll be looking to, to you know, to add to my shorts tomorrow um, if we make it, you know, even further above that level. So that's that's the uh, those are the results for today, and that's uh, potentially the game plan for tomorrow. Um, we'll see how the day wraps up. Um, hope you guys did well. Uh, it had, you know, with with the volatility that we had around the news. If you had standing orders to buy or sell, you could have really benefited from these swings. I mean, you know, you're talking about uh, what almost two percent swings uh, in uh, from the lows to the highs. So there's a lot of room for profit there. Um, you know, intraday, if you manage to call the numbers right. Uh, I'm not the type of trader to make those sorts of rapid moves. Um, I've been burned in the past by trying to profit from those kind of ripples. I, I think it's just a safer bet to play the waves rather than these little ripples, um, if I can use that analogy. Um, yeah, so uh, let me know what you guys did or if you have any questions about uh, what I did. Um, shoot me up on uh, YouTube, comments down below, or over on uh, tradingjournal.ca where you can find more details about my trades and portfolio. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check you guys tomorrow morning, see how it closed. Cheers.